says, now I'm fully aware this segment is going to sound massively hypocritical coming from me considering I just did a video on wasting energy on irrelevant bollocks. Uh, whilst I may like my drinking and lifting heavy things to make the sad voice go away, at the end of the day, deep down, I'm still a nerd. And as many of you know, stupidity really, really irks me. And what annoys me even more is really, really bad math, one that tries to back up that stupidity. One of the reasons I stopped engaging with the news cycle is because that practice is rampant and you can't spend your life in a cycle of perpetual rage. My liver doesn't have the fortitude for that kind of punishment. So uh, Mr. Obvious shared this one on the Twitter. Extremely out of touch take on at Timcast, Tim Pool said, Comments are irrelevant and are like 0.1% of viewers. Wrong. It's the exact opposite. In public, people lie and hide their true feelings. The comment section represents the true thoughts of the silent majority, tired of the cope. I actually find this moment very illuminating from a content creator perspective. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand that the higher you go, the more disconnected you get from the audience because the sheer volume of comments is overwhelming just from a timescale perspective. But then I have to ask, what is your overall goal here considering you speak of politics? Having different conversations but never aligning with anything just means you're the centrist floating corpse. Dull. And if you're not going to listen to the audience at all, then you're just using them as customers as you talk at them. You start devaluing the audience as individuals and they just become sheer numbers that drive your engagement and or wallet. To quote Leiden, it ends in rat races. There is no warmth. So let's see what he said. You know, we, we have people who come on this show and they're like, oh, oh I read the comments. And I'm like, why? That's like 0.01% of mm -hmm. viewers. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Come again, Tim? Why? That's like 0.01% of mm -hmm. viewers. Yeah. 0.01% of viewers. What does Tim get per show? Like 20,000 unique viewers? I don't know, maybe more. 1% of 20,000 is 200. So 0.1 is a tenth of that, which is 20. And 0.01 is a tenth of that, which is 2. I'm pretty sure there's more than two people commenting. Even if you had 100,000 unique people, that's still only 10 people commenting. Tim, you're supposed to be mixed with Asian. This kind of mathematics should bring shame upon your family. And so, you, you like, at, and they're like, yeah, but they're good. And they're all, I'm like, I, I, I understand that. But while it's great that people are commenting and we recommend you comment and chat more, the majority of people who watch this are watching on their TVs. This is, this is something I think is really important for a lot of people mm. to understand. They're, they're they're turning their TV on and they're opening YouTube TV or the or, or the YouTube app and playing the live stream on their TVs while they're mm. hanging out. So they don't have the keyboards in front of them. They're just yeah. watching the show. I would like to know where on earth is he getting these metrics from? Where did he get the breakdown data of phone, tablet, PC and television? Because I do not believe for a single freaking second ever that 0.01% of viewers encompass phone, tablet and PC usage. That is statistically impossible. Mm -hmm. And most people don't comment in general. I mean, I remember before I was even a creator, I wouldn't just comment on stuff. Yeah. Why would I just comment on stuff? One of these people are fully aware of how insanely out of touch they sound right now. Or even realize they're trying to apply their own individual perspective on a mass. You know, unless they felt, I guess, really strongly. It's the, it's, but it's the Maybe because they enjoy the engagement. 1% rule, what do they call yeah. it? That 1% of the people are responsible for 99% of the content. Well, first it was 0.01%, now it's 1%. That's a hundredfold increase. Opinion of two people to 200, that is a massive difference. Hell, Jim gets more than that when he's hitting over 10k on a live, and he has well over 200 unique. So I mean, then yeah. you're getting led astray by the 1%, so mm -hmm. you're losing a lot more people than you think by going in that direction. It, it, oh, good lord, these people know absolutely nothing about mathematics or human reality, frankly. The 1% is what moves everything. You're not necessarily led astray by the 1%, you're just led by the 1% in every metric, regardless of whether or not that's positive or negative. It's terrible optics to admit you don't care to read the comments, but you encourage people to comment nonetheless. Why? Oh right, because it drives your business model, you greedy fence-setting prick. The ego of this kid is insane. And notice he doesn't actually care about the quality of the comments. No, 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 he just dismisses it under the guise it represents but a small fraction. Again, Tim, 1% of anything is where you find the cream of the crop. I'm not suggesting this is automatically going to be the case here, but to suggest they ought to be dismissed because other people are simply not bothered to speak or don't have the means to is absurd. Because his deduction here is simply, well, the audience is large, you're but one person, and therefore your opinion is automatically no longer valid. Likely extremist because it doesn't represent the majority, which Tim doesn't even fucking know because they're passive consumers and he can't read minds, on account of most people don't comment and you do. 
Talk about tone deaf, my word. The ones who care enough to speak are more often than not the ones you need to hear, either because it's worthwhile or potentially they're batshit insane and stupid and you know now what to ignore. This analysis simply says, while your words are not relevant on any quality controlling metric, no, it's invalid purely on the basis of you are one but a handful of people who are not simply a passive consumer. Ridiculous. Let's be real here, shall we? As Mr. Alves pointed out on the Twitter, the people who comment are the ones who strongly disagree with Tim whenever he talks shite and he can't handle any criticism. Again, he has a massive ego and he doesn't like the spotlight not being on him. I mean, look what happened with Adam. Adam grew too big and popular, Tim didn't like having his authority challenged, and he was kicked off the show. Who's the chap he has on the show now instead of Adam? Ian or something, isn't it? And he's a hippie. He can't hold a candle to Adam. Welcome to the soulless scaling grind when you have a mountain of a freaking ego. Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing.